I have a, one of my daughters is uh, 22 years old and she is an active addict. Um, I'm in contact with her, but over the years, each time I talk to her, she looks sicker and sicker. And she will contact me and talk to me about things that she's experiencing and they are so identical to the things that I went through. And they're so, it's the same, it's the life. It's just, it is that life. It's like watching, feeling, feeling her pain. I can feel it. It's like the same stuff all over again. And I, and I offer her help because I, you know, I had her in programs up until she turned 18. And um, I'm raising, well, my son, well, Jaden is her biological son. And she, watching her deteriorate and knowing what the possibility is that she could die. But not just knowing it because I hear other people talk about it. Knowing that she could overdose, be murdered, or anything. You know, she's already being severely physically abused by the people that she's around. And I, knowing that, but also knowing that I've been exactly where she is, it is excruciating to talk to her and see her, the state of her body and her face and her mindset is heartbreaking. It's, it's beyond heartbreaking. It's, you know, this is my child. This is my, my baby, my offspring and to not be able to do anything about it. Wanting to just like, wanting to just like fix it because I feel like from a very small age, that's what we do as parents. And they're small and they're tiny and they fall down and they put their hands up to us and they say, mama, mama help me. Because that's what we're their program to do. And as a parent, that's what you do. And to not be able to do that is hard. And especially for me, because I know that if she can survive this, she's going to be fucking amazing. I just have to force myself to compartmentalize picturing the things that are happening to her or picturing the things that I know she's doing to survive. And I have another daughter that I, you know, I need to function for and I need to work and I need to support this family. So. I have to, you know, push things, emotional things to the side sometimes, but I'll always be there for her. So when she's ready, um, and I hope that she does survive it because the fact is people die every day from this. And at any time I could get that call and I call it the, you know, it's the call, you know, that, you know, like whenever I see they found a body of a young woman, I start asking friends and texting people or that know like, and you know, Hey, do you think this, give me, do you have a description? You know, people that I know might be in law enforcement or whatever. And I, I say, Hey, do you have a description of that body? Can you get that to me, please? Because I, it could be her and like, it's not, it could be her. And I pray that I just pray that it, it never will be. Um, but it is hard. It is, it's hard and it's painful, but, but there's hope. Like I said, there's always hope. And I try to give that to her. I try to, you know, let her know there's hope and you don't have to live like this and you don't have to stay like this. And, but at the same time, I also know that it doesn't matter what you say and how much you love your child, they have to be ready. So Jaden is my grandson. One of my daughters had a baby two and a half years ago and I, brought him straight home from the hospital to my house. I became his legal foster mother in the process of becoming his permanent mother. Um, his mama, he calls me mama. 
and he is fresh and amazing and has changed my life in many in many ways drains me at times but i knew that after living the life that i lived and knowing what children go through knowing that i am am and was now that i'm clean and sober in a position to protect him and part of who i am is i have a very very strong need to protect some people haven't learned how to speak up for themselves yet and so immediately without thinking i said to my daughter when she i found out she was pregnant i said just give him to me just give me the baby and i didn't know how i was going to do it but it was just i think it was just love driven and um he's been with me ever since